And hello, we're here with the Dutch mentor on our continuous series of uh, interviews, finding the keys to success. I'm here with Tracy today. And uh, Tracy, what are your uh, keys to success? So I would say three keys to success um, are relationships, doing what you love, and doing a little bit more every day than what's expected of you. So relationships, you can't get anywhere without relationships. I always say, I love to help people. I will do something for you as many times as you ask. You ask, I do it. You ask, I do it 10, 15, 20 times. And then I'm sure one time when I need something and I come to you and I ask, you're going to do it for me. So it's back and forth, it's relationships, it's making sure that every day you're working on those relationships. So that's number one. Number two, um, love what you do. So everybody's passionate about what they do when they're, that you need to be passionate about what to do when you're a leader. Um, but the most important part about loving what you do is having fun when you're doing it. So make sure you get to know your team, they get to know you, you share who you are inside and outside of work. So we spend most of our time at work um we, you know we sleep we work and we're home for just a little bit of time so you have to have fun while you're there and the way to do it is by making sure that you care about people that you learn about who they are that you learn about what they care about what makes them um tick what drives them what their passion is um and then you really take advantage advantage of that and and build a strong team based on all of those relationships and then um the third thing is if you do a little bit more every single day than what's expected of you, so if the expectation is count, count 10 uh, uh, widgets a day, um, every day come in, count 10 widgets or more, count 11 widgets, 15 widgets, 20 widgets, never count less than 10 widgets. And if you do that, you will stand out and you will grow and you will be uh, identified as an emerging leader. And that's it. Excellent, really, really insightful information. I think that the, the relationship piece that you talk about, um, you know, relationships are not just for extroverts. Uh, the introvert can be a very effective leader, but you have to put yourself out there. Because if you can identify yourself as an introvert and you have difficulty building this relationship because you're shy, or you don't know how to start a conversation, uh, my recommendation is always to go seek out an extrovert and work with somebody and, and figure out in a safe environment how to break ice and learn how to ask that one or two questions to break you know, the, you know, that, that silence, that uncomfortable silence into a conversation. Uh, but really, really rock solid advice. People, passion, purpose uh, brings energy and motivation uh, and, and doing that little extra makes you stand out. So thank you, Tracy, for those uh, valuable insight and comments. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you.